Hey everyone, I'm Laura from Redbook and we have a very special guest today. It's Nikki Bella. What's up, Redbook? Mwah, so happy to be here. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, As you guys you. know, she's the longest reigning WWE Divas champ. She just got engaged to John Cena and we're just going to ask her all the questions that you guys submitted on Twitter about everything from their relationship to her fitness regimen to anything about her life and her sister. So if you guys have anything else to ask, feel free to drop them below in the comments and let's get started. Yeah, let's do this. So tons of people were sending in questions about your engagement, obviously. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so, so exciting much. So exciting and so cute. And you probably have seen the video of yourself like from every possible oh. angle. Like every possible angle a thousand times. I can't <laughs> stop watching. <laughs> yeah. Um, can we see the ring? Yes, you may. How so amazing gorgeous. is it? Oh my God, so jealous. Um, thank you. Can you tell us? the meaning of it all because I Definitely. know that he did something really cute. Yes, he honestly, he is the most thoughtful man ever. He's just so amazing. So he, we've been together four and a half years. We'll be five years in August. And on each side, there's four diamonds and one side represents John and one side represents me. And it's the years that we have been together in this journey. And then the middle one's four and a half carats. And that's when we became one at four. And like, so is that not beautiful? And he was telling me in the ring, so when you see him, if you go back and watch it, he's whispering to me it. Yeah. And I'm just so overwhelmed when we got back. I was like, what were you saying? Yeah, like, can you, you repeat the story? Oh no. I was like. <laughs> it must have been so loud. So loud. And like, I was just, I felt like I said yes and like cut him off. I was like, yes. Like, you are oh, got you on your name. You answer right away. Yeah, you have to think totally. About it. I agree. Awesome. So I've been on cloud nine. I bet, yeah, you're probably like still voting. Oh, yes. Um, so, Maria had asked how you felt about um, him doing it at WrestleMania. I loved it. I guess because WWE is our home, it's where we met. That wrestling ring is home for me. It's my passion. I love what I do. And so, it kind of was like the ending story to like my Prince Charming, right? Like, here I met him at my work. We've had this amazing ride, and it's been ups and downs, and then just to complete it in that ring in front of all those people, especially, I guess, because John's very private, I never would have thought he would have done that. Yeah. So the one thing that I've, like, just adore about him is since we've been together, he really, like, proclaims his love for me everywhere, and it's so not him, but it's really cute, and he's not crazy like Tom Cruise, no offense, like, he's not jumping on couches <laughs> at Oprah, yeah. but, like, he's just so, like, it's just... For me, it's romantic because I know who he is. Yeah. So it's like him proving to me, like, this is how much I love you. I don't care who's watching. I'm going to do this. I don't have to be Mr. Cool and do it private and you can't post about it. And plus, I get to relive that moment all the time. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't have done that if he just did it at home or something. Right, so. yeah. It was like a huge moment. Even though I'm in my gear, like socks and <laughs> tennis, but so. No, it's great. Um, cool. So, um, Princess22 wants to know... Um, have you guys discussed a wedding date? And if so, are you going to reveal it to us? Or will it just be a surprise wedding that no one knows about? Ooh, princess, good question. Um, so I don't know a wedding date yet. The one thing that I do know is that I don't, I don't want it to be quick. I kind of want to not have a long engagement, but I just really want it to be a time where John and I aren't doing anything. And we're not going into our wedding tired because we just had, you know, crazy events. He was filming a movie or on the road for WWE. I really want us to be rested and go into like this intimate ceremony. So we don't know a date. Um, there's a few that I'm looking at, but I'm not going to say which days yet. And um, more than likely, you're going to see it on TV. I'll give you that hint. That's awesome. Yeah, yes. a lot of people were asking if we'll get to see the wedding on the show. So. I think you are on Total Bellas. I think so, yes. Okay, that's something to look forward to. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you were saying before we even started this that you both are so busy right now running around, so yes. it totally makes sense to want to, you know, spend time together as being engaged. Totally. That's like a special time, too. It is. It's like, I want to take in all those moments of doing what, like, soon-to-be brides really do and being engaged of, you know, being with my girlfriends and seeing who I want as my bridesmaid and all the fun activities we do as bridesmaids and... Yeah. Like, I just want to do all those little activities, and I don't want everything to be rushed because, like, oh, let's get this done. I just want to live it up. And when I do wedding planning, I really want to enjoy, like, every moment of that wedding planning. So, we'll see. Speaking of wedding planning, everyone on Twitter knew that you were at Bridal Fashion Week, and I, I saw that you had some videos about it and everything. So, Monica wants to know if any dresses inspired you or if you have a style that you want now. 
So I am very much inspired by Grace Kelly's look when she got married. Um, I feel like, yes, I am someone who has a lot of cleavage a lot. Like, I understand that. And I do like the sexy selfies. But for some reason, like, when it comes to my wedding day, I want to be very elegant. And I want it to be simple. It's like, you can always wear certain dresses to a gala and stuff. But when you have that classic look yeah. of a wedding dress, you could really only wear that on one day. And I want that. And so I'm very much drawn to long sleeve white lace. I kind of don't mind like a turtleneck. I may want some cleavage, I'm not sure. And I kind of want to have like, you know, have like a flowy bottom, a long train, definitely a veil. And I have to say when I was at Marquesa, yeah. oh my gosh, like I was like, yes, yes. Yeah. But there was one that caught my eye. And then I was like, I think I'm gonna need to talk to Georgina and be like, so let's custom make this. Yeah. She's probably like Nikki Bella who, <laughs> but like, honestly, like that's a dream. I yeah. was just in heaven there. That sounds amazing. Yeah. I love the long sleeve look. Do it's, you love yeah, that? I feel like lately it's becoming more popular. And it's I like agree. So pretty. It is. And I want two dresses. So ceremony cocktail hour, I'll be in like the beautiful long. And I'll show some skin for the reception. Not too much, but a little bit. You know, it's that's a fun, fun time, Yeah, that's right? a good idea. You can yeah. like kind of show off both sides that way. People um, want to know if you and John have picked your wedding song yet. So, I, our wedding song is going to be, our song um, is Etta James, um, oh my god, how am I, uh, At Last, I'm like, what is it? <laughs> and something that's really cute about it is, anytime it's playing, anywhere we're at, John makes me dance with him. And I sometimes will get so embarrassed, like we do it at this restaurant all the time to where they've caught on, like, play Etta James, will dance. <laughs> but anywhere we're at, so that will definitely be our wedding song is At Last by Etta James, and I kind of feel like it even goes with our roller coaster ride of a love story like at last we're finally going to be one yeah that's so yeah. cute that's so funny to think about people just playing the song and being like they'll dance yeah, they'll dance. dance and here we are is like, john a good dancer he is a good dancer i mean he's not like you know ballroom dancing king but he has some good moves he can move his hips a little bit like elvis but <laughs> but he he's a good slow dancer really good slow dancer love that <laughs> Um, Sophia wants to know if you have a dream wedding location, whether you'll actually do it there or if it's just like a dream. Yeah, dream wedding location. Mm -hmm. I mean, Napa Valley is like my heaven on earth. I absolutely love Napa Valley. So I like have this like dream, like have this big white flowy dress and go through the vineyards and like winds blowing in my hair. Mm -hmm. Perfect sunset. <laughs> Sounds perfect. Right? Doesn't yeah. that sound Maybe amazing? That French laundry caters. Yeah. <laughs> With the long sleeve dress. Exactly, and right? Hair. Yeah. I love it. That would be, yeah, yeah. Napa Valley for sure. That's a good choice. Um, cool. So, aside from the engagement and the wedding, we have some questions from fans about other things. Like, I think that we know the answer, but someone, Ashley, wants to know how excited you are to meet Birdie. Oh, I'm so excited to meet Birdie. Um, it's crazy because my sister's due this Sunday, and I'm oh supposed gosh, to. So is that not crazy? And I'm literally. Like your phone at all times, like. And Brian texts me like to. Well, I just see a text message from him. And I'm like, oh great, she's in labor, and I'm yeah. in New York. How am I gonna get there? And he's like, hey, uh, do you have a caption for this Winston photo? And I'm like, <laughs> what? Like, you can't do this to me yeah, right now. Like a yeah. So, Brie, though, says, like, she's, like, um, she's dilating, but she's due Sunday, so we'll see. Poor thing, I think, is at the point she's really ready. But yeah. I'm just, like, so excited to meet Birdie because Brie and Ryan look so different. Mm -hmm. So who knows what she's going to look like. Like, yeah. I'm more excited to see what this baby girl is going to look like. But <laughs> I'm praying that it looks like Brie because she'll look like me, and then I'll have my mini-me. Technically, it'll be my daughter, kind of. So, yeah. we'll see. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. yeah, and I'm sure once she's here, you'll be posting pictures. And oh, yes. And well, I have a see. feeling there's some rules. Uh, Bree's already kind of mentioned yeah. to me, and so I was like, okay. Maybe we'll like the artsy long. shot. Where exactly. It's like, like where a lot of people do her. behind. Yeah. You never see the faces. Everything's behind right, them. Right, right. That would be fun. <laughs> or like I hold, hold like a bouquet of flowers in front of her, and then you see Bobby. Does, I like how I see people do that. Does Bree have tons of baby clothes already? She has an insane amount, which she's so lucky. She has received so many amazing gifts, and um, she actually started donating some stuff to, like, the Goodwill or people in need because she had received so much baby stuff from fans to media people, coworkers, friends, family, and it was cute because her and Brian were like, Birdie doesn't need to already be this spoiled. Like, she needs to learn how to share and give, so they were already, like, sharing and giving yeah. the gifts she's received, which is really cute. 
be so generous. I know, so Aww. generous, Birdie. Yeah. Our little Birdie girl. That's awesome. Yeah. Can't wait for her to get here. Me um, too. So, Nissa asks, now that you've hit 500k subscribers on YouTube and gotten naked, which was hilarious yep. and amazing, um, how can you possibly step it up when you hit 1 million? I know, right? So, the pressure's on. We're at, yeah, we just hit over 600k. It's which time is crazy. Quickly. It's You're going to hit a million so next week. quickly. And I don't know. I was at first like, do Brie and Brian then get naked at a million? But then, like, we know there's sensors now. So, is that not fun? <laughs> And then I don't know, like, what are your guys' suggestions out there? Like, what do we yeah, do for a million? Yeah, drop them in the comments. Yeah, just drop them in the comments right now. What do we do at a million? Let us know if anyone yes. has an amazing idea. Yeah. Um, cool. So, um, I'm not sure what this person's name is. Bashi Bella, because Bashi Bella. <laughs> um, she wants to know what's the hardest treat for you to resist in order to keep in shape, and do you prefer to indulge and work it off or just resist? Donuts. Donuts are like. Oh. I love donuts. They're so tough for me. Um, but I like to save them for special days. Like, I feel like since my engagement, I literally have gained five pounds because I've told myself, like, woo, I can do what yeah, I want. it's a celebratory time. It is. But starting tomorrow, and it's not Monday, so you can't give me crap. Like, it's starting tomorrow. Starting on a Friday. Yeah, okay. starting on a Friday. I'm going to get back into, like, what I used to do. And I literally would save those moments for like one day a week and that's just so I could fully enjoy it and not feel guilty because I feel like when you start to do it a lot during the week you do feel guilty you're like oh I better get to the gym work this off but when you've been good all week when you have those few moments of like I I want John hates when I use this word but deserve but I'm not gonna lie I tell myself that a lot I'm like I deserve this yeah, I yourself. just worked my butt off this week yeah so that's how I feel when it comes to treats and treat myself yeah I yeah. don't think you have anything to worry about oh you're yeah. sweet <laughs> People are suggesting to have uh, John and Brian dance together for a million, Ooh, perform John. a choreographed dance. Oh. John and Brian do a choreogra choreographed dance at a million. Yeah, maybe That's like amazing. a magic mic thing. That is a ma magic mic, Chippendales. Yeah. <laughs> John would be Patrick Swayze and Brian. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Brian is kidding. Yeah, they're watching this. Probably like, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh my God, I like I that. I like that idea, though, too. That's really funny. Um, so, yeah, with all... The desserts with wedding stuff you're probably gonna be like tasting cake and trying things uh, out yes. so it's a I'm fun gonna time taste a lot of cake yeah be like oh we should try this flavor now even if i know i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna be like maybe we might go there yeah try it let's just do the velvet cake or yeah. whatever yeah <laughs> um so janice wants to know your favorite way to spend a day off which it sounds like you don't have very often of but no. when you do when i do my favorite is no makeup comfy clothes, mm -hmm. but like cute workout clothes. Like I, I make sure I don't look, you know, like bum when I walk into, uh, go to do my errands. But I, I just love having my hair away from my face. And I mean, I love massages. I love spa days. Mm -hmm. Spa days are like my favorite. And I just like, I think, you know, quiet time. That's what I've realized is like having, like not having to feel like I have to be on my phone. No social media posts. I will tell you that that's one thing I've loved on a day off <laughs> yeah. is like, Nicole, don't even worry about trying to do a selfie today. Like, just take it in. And I really actually enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you binge watch any shows? Okay, so I re recently just binge watched Victoria on Netflix. Um, mm -hmm. a or no, that's PBS, sorry. But I did, Victoria was amazing. It was The Crown Oh, yeah, Netflix. everyone was obsessed with that, yeah. I was like, whoa, I am missing out. And then <laughs> I've been watching lately... Um, Oh my gosh, um, Jane Fonda, what's, um, how am I, the Jane Grace. Fonda movie, Great, Grace and Frankie, Grace, Grace and Frankie, Grace and Frankie. Oh, okay. yes, so, yeah, I think, I think it's Grace and Frankie, <laughs> yeah, but I've been binge watching that, I'm like, what am I doing, <laughs> I feel like there's so much good TV out there, everyone's always telling me about a new show, and then I get anxiety, because I feel like I'm missing out, so then I don't want to start, because then I can't stop, like, yeah, I feel the I was same so way. like that with Scandal, and Walking Dead, I would watch, like, such weird stuff in Nashville, don't even get me started on Nashville, Raina James, I'm still pissed at you, oh, Connie, you should have never, whatever, I, like, was, I cried, I bawled my eyes out, John thought I was crazy, and I'm like, you don't understand, Raina James just died, <laughs> no, it's serious, 
is serious. Yeah, everybody gets so obsessed with these shows that are like big right now, yeah. and I feel like I always miss the bandwagon, and then I watch it, but no one wants to talk about it anymore. Right, and they're like, yeah, like I just that was like Game of Thrones. If you didn't watch it during, I watched like, it. <laughs> I know, I'm you crazy. I'm like the it? one okay. person left. I you think. are. You it's have just to overwhelming now because there's so many seasons. Yeah, but the minute you watch it, you're gonna you're gonna wish there was more. Yeah, I feel like I could probably catch up in time for the new season because that's like how serious I get yeah. when I'm binge watching. So that's I could awesome. probably make it through it. Yeah. Do you um, watch your own show? Do I do watch my own show, um, but I get really embarrassed because I'm like, oh, there, there I am drunk. Oh, there I am mad, and now I'm crying, and this is that looks terrible. So. <laughs> And you just nitpick yourself. It's the worst. I'm like, who? Why did I do my hair like that? Or who picked that outfit? It's. I, I have the hardest time, but I do like. It's funny because I enjoy actually watching my sister and I's reactions because now I could see how I react to her when she says something. I feel it when I do it, but she'll be like, "Oh my gosh!" I'm like, "Yeah, sorry." Yeah, watching so, yourself is a weird. Experience. It's so weird. And you've done that through wrestling and now the show. Yeah, so you totally. Do everything. Reliving arguments has to be the worst because you get it into another argument. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my gosh, I remember that time. How dare you? That especially with John, I hated reliving our mm -hmm. arguments on TV. Yeah. God, that was so bad. Amanda wants to know if you've gotten into any wedding shows now that you're engaged. Oh, I haven't. You know, that's a good question. I did though. First time ever, I bought wedding magazines the other day at the airport, and I was very proud because I was like, "This isn't being hopeful. Like, I get a, I get a pick now, so you can't look at me like that. Like, look at." Yeah, I feel like when you're single, you're like, "Oh, I shouldn't get it," but the second yes. you're engaged, you're like, "Okay." It's, it's like time. you can't wait to like you pick it up, and you're like, "Okay, whatever." Like you're looking. Yeah, because Sandra actually asked if you started a wedding Pinterest board. I did. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I did, and it said to private, except Brie is on it. Mm -hmm. I, I like called her, I'm like, what is your Pinterest address? She's like, why? I'm like, because I'm adding you to my board. And she's like, okay. But I've had more fun um, putting stuff on my Pinterest board. Like, I absolutely love it. Yeah. And it's actually, fun. with my wedding planners, it's very easy. Like, I showed a few the other day, uh, Kate Moss's Champagne Tower. Oh, I was like, pretty. this. <laughs> This is what we're gonna do, yeah. and like they, there was a bunch of Grace Kelly photos. Of course, it's yeah. just so fun. I love it. Yeah, it's such a good way to like plan it out and see everything. Yeah, and I also feel like a lot of people have wedding Pinterest boards who aren't even like in a relationship at all, but you just like keep dreaming about it. Yeah. So then once the wedding comes, you're like ready to go. Totally. I'm not gonna lie. I did totally make it before I got engaged. I feel like every girl does. Yeah, it's fine. It like, is. We have our ideas. You gotta right. keep them somewhere. I agree. Thank you, Pinterest. <laughs> Thank God. We have a couple people suggesting that you start a wedding workout on your YouTube oh, page. Oh, yes. I agree because I, the engagement workout that's going on right now is like in reverse. So <laughs> we need to get on the wedding one. Yeah, people would love and, to see that. Yeah, and I'm like, I love, I'm a wine out. Like, I love my wine. But it's funny, like, even for tonight for John's premiere, I'm like, great, I'm going to have a swollen face for the premiere because I had all this wine at the Polo Bar. And I just, I definitely want to get into something where I know that whole week when I have the festivities of the wedding, I'm going to be okay. I'm not going to wake up on my wedding and be like, why did I do this? So coming soon, how about on our uh, YouTube channel, we have Bella Body that we just yeah. came out with. So I will put the workouts there. Get wedding fun. workouts. Yeah. Even yeah. for people not having a wedding soon, they'll right. want to do the workouts. Yes, totally. Course. Yeah. I'll do it in a veil. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. Could you imagine in a wedding yeah. dress, like, working After out? After the wedding. Yeah, when just garter belts. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. So just a few final questions okay. from some big fans who are at. Paula wants to know if you remember what you felt during your debut in the WWE. Nervous. Um, I wanted to throw up. I was so nervous. But, I mean, I was also excited there's nothing like performing in front of a live crowd and just having people literally react to whatever it is you do. And there's nothing better than when you actually get that connection with the audience. And so my first time out there, I, I just remember like I couldn't even breathe. Like I remember when I started doing live events, one of the referees, I'll never forget it, he literally looked at me and he goes, breathe, baby girl. And I was like, okay. Yeah. I'm only I mean, ready to fight so someone and like laughing. smile. Yes, yeah, so many people. But it becomes like an addiction of that feeling because still today, like I've been in it 10 years, I still get very nervous. Mm -hmm. Like 
I'm like in what we call the gorilla position, which is the waiting area before you walk out down the ramp. And there's Vince McMahon just right there watching. And then John, he loves to mess with me before I go out. Like he comes up and says jokes and he's like, they're never going to buy it. Like you better change everything you want to do out there. <laughs> and like just gives me a hard time. And I'm like, stop. And I think it's his way of getting my nerves out. But it makes me more nervous. Yeah. Like doing yeah. the storyline with him into WrestleMania. I told him, I'm like, John, not only am I, like, so nervous doing a story with you, I put so much pressure on myself. I'm like, I want to be so good. And then I felt like I wasn't even doing, like, the best stuff in my career because I was just so nervous and had so mm -hmm. much pressure. I was like, um, yeah, so okay there. Drop the mic. Yeah, was that okay? <laughs> it was good. Don't well, worry thank about you. it. thank you. If you weren't in WWE, what would you be doing? So I always say, because I have my real estate license, that I'd be selling real estate. But recently I planned John's 40th birthday. And I was like, oh my god, I like event planning. Like, I had a lot of what fun doing do? it. So we were in a small town called Newburyport. He's from West Newbury, so we were in Newburyport. And there's this restaurant called Mission Oak Grill, which is so cute. They have this private room above called Steeple Hall. And I legit, like, did, like, a wedding reception style. <laughs> like, it was very good Rat Pack Phil. Yeah. yeah, seriously, such good practice. Beautiful. Like, I did florals. I went full out. Did Milkshake bar, he loved it. And it was a surprise. Aww. So it was really Surprises are the best. They are, yeah. You surprise him, and he surprised you. Exactly, right? Cool. Um, our last question is from Amanda. She acknowledges it's a hard one. Who is the better tag partner, Brie or John? Amanda, you're killing me. Or are you, you gonna get know, me into trouble? Okay. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm gonna. I absolutely loved tagging with John, but I'm gonna say Brie because sharing this amazing experience, I've been in WB for a decade, and getting to share that experience with Brie from day one, and traveling the world with her, and you know, with John, our matches, it's not like I could go in and fight guys, so it's very different, like with Brie, I do actual tag moves with her, and, and it's more, we have this like teamwork, and we talk to each other out there, it's like, it's like when you're on a soccer field, and you know, you're with that team, and so, I just, there's so many amazing moments I have with Brie, and like we grew up so much in that world, like starting at 23 and being 33, and the stuff we've seen, and the tears we've shared, and just, it, it's just unreal, and so, I'm sorry John, I love you so much, that's why I said yes, <laughs> but I would have to say Brie for sure. Yeah, that's amazing, like yeah. she is having a baby, you just got engaged, like yeah. so much has happened in totally. 10 years, and you guys went through it all together. We did, So yeah. that's so special. Aww, we did. Well, thank you all for watching, and thank yes. you so much for joining us. This thank was so you. special. So fun. So fun. Can we get and one last flex for the fans? Flex? Yeah. Ready, guys? Let me warm up. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. <laughs> they're kind of feel like they're little, it's like the wine's like floating through, but oh, shouldn't my veins be popping up? I seeing this in real life. Crazy, right? <laughs> I guess no one wanted a flex from me. So yeah, okay. right? Yeah, it's okay. Take I can't your do shirt one anymore. Off. So, Just <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing sleeves for that yeah. purpose. <laughs> All right, well, bye everyone. Thank bye you for everyone. tuning bye. in. Thank you.